I'm too young to embrace the bold look and I'm too young to go and get a hair transplant or surgery or all of that stuff. I'll be getting a lot of messages recently from guys who are late teens. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Bold Cafe. I wanna talk about some of the first things that you can do that can help you out. And we're gonna hear from a couple of guys who have been in your very position and see what some words of wisdom they have for you also. In true Bold Cafe style, we're gonna go find someone to grab a breakfast, grab a coffee. We're gonna have a sit down, let's go for it. Change of plans. Thank you, Italy, for that. In that breakfast place, although I got a breakfast and got a coffee, it was a little too quiet and too noisy at the same time for my liking. So I didn't feel comfortable. In your position, hair loss has just entered your life and you're, you feel you're too young to be a bold guy or be the guy who's uh, getting the surgery and, and the drugs and whatnot to try and hold on to it, right? You're not, you're not just not at that age yet. But the first thing that I really advise you to do is number one, go and speak to your doc, your doctor, right? GP, whatever that is, a medical professional, because in some instances, hair loss can happen for all sorts of different reasons. Hormonal changes, um, bacterial infections, anything like that. I'm not a doctor, I cannot give you medical advice, but my advice would be to just go and check for peace of mind so that you know the exact nature of the beast that you're dealing with. So let's say now you know for sure you're dealing with androgenic alopecia. Take a look at the men around you in your family. The first thing you're gonna think when you know your hair's falling out is, oh my goodness me, I wanna be bold in a year. Like, please let me get out of high school with hair or please, I don't wanna go bold in college, you know? You're gonna be freaking out thinking that this is gonna happen overnight. Okay, I, I did the exact same thing. Take a look at the men around you and your family, your fathers, grandfathers, uncles, cousins, right? And straight up, ask them about it. Ask them, hey, tell me about you losing your hair. I want to know about it because I'm kind of worrying about my own hair situation here. My hair started falling out and I'm freaking out about it, okay? That is going to be really tough for a lot of you to do, to just go outright with your cousins or whoever, your dad, and be like, listen, dad, I am losing my hair. You're a bot, you've lost your hair. When did it happen? How did it happen? How did you feel? You know, talk to me. Literally just talk to me or hear me out. Chances are they will tell you that it happened over quite a significant period of time. It doesn't happen overnight, okay? As quick as it might feel, say five years, 10 years, that feels quick. It's not overnight, okay? So you can put that little worry to one side. Speaking to guys in your family, they're gonna give you advice or they're gonna hear you out in a way that is already natural and feels good for you guys to communicate, providing you have a good, somewhat good relationship with these people. Having the courage to actually say like, I'm actually worrying about this, will really lighten the load for you because if you're worrying about it, that is a burden on your day-to-day -day life, right? The more you carry that burden by not offloading it to other people, okay? It gets heavier and heavier over time and it's gonna take you to a darker place than you wanna be going to. So just every now and again, when you feel comfortable, offload some of that worry, some of that fear to people around you that you feel comfortable with. And I think some of the best people to do that with are guys who have already gone through that journey. Okay, another thing you're gonna be doing, this is, I guess, part three. You're gonna be comparing yourself to guys around you with the best hair, okay? You're not gonna be looking at just like everyone as like a broad playing field. You're gonna be comparing yourself to the guy with the most epic hairline. It's an unfortunate thing that us humans do. You're gonna do it and it's gonna make you feel even worse. So do yourself a favor and don't do that, okay? Don't compare yourself on one metric like that. There's another reason why I say that, but it's eluding me at this slight moment. Ah, yes. So you're gonna be comparing yourself to that guy who's got like the most, huh, let's, get, let's get a light on here. Let's get a couple of these cheeky little, in fact, you know what? Let's solar panel this bad boy up. The other reason why I say about not comparing yourself, 
to to these people around you because you're going to have this idea that everyone's got epic hair by looking at the broader picture i.e the men in your family or friends fathers or relatives whatever right friends of friends older brothers okay by getting a broader perspective and not just focusing on the epic hairlines that you see around you you're going to realize that you're actually surrounded by a ton of successful happy guys who are going about their life doing things that you might want to do as well and they're bold by getting an idea of the broader picture you can recognize that listen i don't know what the path is laid out in front of me but I can take a reasonable guess that when all is said and done, the fact that there are men around me who have lost their hair and they're still enjoying their life, doing things that I kind of want to do or I enjoy, I'm probably, if this is the worst case scenario and I lose my hair, I'm probably going to be all right. As much as I don't want this to be happening, you're probably going to be okay. And just by looking around yourself, right, and again, trying to take in that big picture, not just the epic hairlines in your class or whatever, you're gonna be able to do that. The next thing, guys, I want you to kind of think about, and, and you're gonna to have to trust me on this because you're not there yet, but your life in five to 10 years time from now is gonna be vastly different than it is today, okay? You will have had way more life experiences to be able to use those experiences and what you learned from them to deal with these things that are happening to you okay these new hardships that you find right now if you are still in education haven't really traveled much or met many people outside of your close family and friends that you've always kind of had the problem of hair loss is much more significant in that kind of small little bubble that you've been living in right once you get out there into college, into work, traveling, meeting people from all over the world, doing all these things that you enjoy, hair loss will have less significance on you, okay? And again, guys, this is, doesn't matter where you're going with this, whether you feel like I'm going to pursue the... Uh, pursue the path of trying to hold on to this hair, or whether you say, maybe I'm just going to be bold, okay? we're not even there yet i'm just trying to tell you that no matter what path you take in five to ten years from now because if you make you know decent choices and you actually get out there and try new things and whatever right try and develop yourself in all areas of your life this thing of hair loss is going to be less significant to you okay and because it's less significant it's going to be easier for you to deal with simple as that Lovely. Now, before we hear from other young guys who have been in your very position, I guess I just want to finish this off with a little bit of a like heart to heart from, from me, you know, if we were genuinely having this conversation. And I just want to say to you, like, this thing of, of hair loss that is like really occupying your, your mind at the moment, if you let it, this really can stop you from enjoying these like really crucial years of your life, right? These are great years and you've got so much good stuff to look forward to okay so please like do me a favor remember this video and do yourself a favor most importantly when someone asks you to go travel in and you're thinking oh, there's going to be pictures and i don't know you know if i want to go because what am i going to do about my hair if it looks bad or when someone asks you to go to the beach or you go on a date and she's like let's go to some like windy ass place or something, right? I don't know. You get asked on a night out or whatever, okay? Please just go, okay? Do those things. Do not let worries or fears about what might happen because of the hair stop you from missing out on those life experiences, okay? everyone that I've spoken to when they look back on their their journey they think wow you know like I missed out on a lot of stuff because of my insecurities you've literally got years ahead of you and there's no reason that you need to let the worries and fears about what might happen to your hair stop you from doing those things keep working hard keep developing yourself over time 
this thing of hair will have less significance. You'll be at an age where more options will be available to you. And you'll know that from speaking to guys who have kind of trodden the path before you. That burden will be lighter because you've had those conversations. And I hope that the advice and what you see in this video is gonna help you on that journey. That's what I'm here to do. But you don't need to just take it from me. Let's hear some advice from a few guys who have been in your very position. Hey, what's going on Bald Cafe? My name is Kevin. I'm 27 years old and I started balding when I was a teenager. Now I wanna let you younger guys know that it's not uncommon to start balding when you're a teenager. And I know that you may feel insecure about it, but I just wanna let you know that it's not the end of the world. Your real friends are not gonna care whether you're bald or not. Girlfriends that actually care about you are not gonna care whether you're bald or not. If they do, you don't need them in your life. Trust me, shaved my head when I was 25 years old and my life's been great ever since. I'm no longer insecure about the way I look. Good luck to all you younger guys and I just wanna let you guys know you're gonna be fine. I just want to give some advice to other young guys like me who are losing their hair at an early age. So I'm 23 and a friend in the military mentioned my receding hairline when I was 20. Uh, I didn't find it that big of a deal at first, but then last summer it suddenly hit me real hard. I started watching Bald Cafe's videos on YouTube and got some relief when I uh, noticed I wasn't the only one going through all this hair stuff. And then I got the courage to open up to my girlfriend, family and closest friends and uh, got some positive feedback. They were all really supportive and that was amazing to hear in the middle of all that. Then I got the courage to just go to the barber and uh, mention my receding hairline and that I want, want to go with the bus cut. And as you can see, I've been rocking the bus cut ever since and I've been going down with the length with small steps at a time. So my advice to you is that uh, if you find it difficult to just shave it all off, you don't have to do that at once. You can just go with small steps like I am going. And remember, you're definitely not alone with all this. What's up, guys? My name's Owen. I'm 22 years old. I started losing my hair around 17. And by 18, I had pretty significant receding and thinning on top. A word of advice to someone around that age or maybe even younger that's losing your hair is those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. People who love you and want to be around you are going to continue to love and want to be around you. Anything you may be doing such as like wearing a hat or searching on the internet for hours as to things you might be able to do to mitigate um, your hair loss are ultimately exacerbating your anxiety. Stay confident, um, be a good person and your life will be great doesn't have anything to do with the amount of hair you have he's out my advice would be to find your own style first there's no need to completely shave your head straight away at 15 16. for me i decided to shave my head down to grade three grade two at 16. firstly because i was into ska music so it kind of went with the style but also it kind of gave you that backup as well it meant you were taking control and then when I hit 23, I decided it was time to shave it all the way down. And then it meant that because I was already been shaving my head down to grade two, grade one, it wasn't such a shock. It actually felt more natural. Massive thank you to all the guys there who submitted just a little slice of their opinions and advice for anyone who might be watching this video who's young and struggling to deal with the fact that they're up against male pattern boldness. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and don't forget please check out the channel's official sponsor, Leaf Shave, my favorite razor at the moment, the gold twig, absolute creme de la creme for me. Guys, I'll see you in that next video. Goodbye.